Okay, this is the 2014 Mizzou Baseball Hitting Experience video analysis for Connor Barnes. I am Hunter Mintz, Mizzou Baseball Hitting Coach, and I'm going to be doing the video analysis. Um, and the way that this is going to work, Connor, is um, what I'm going to do is we're going to watch your swing with just you. Um, we're going to kind of break it down and go through some things that I think you do well, some things I think you could work on. Look at your stance, look at your swing, make some adjustments off that. And then for the second part of this, what we'll do is I'll put you next to a big leaguer. Um, I don't know who that big leaguer is going to be quite yet. I'm going to go through and look at the guys I got and put somebody next to you that I think might be somewhat similar to you. And you can look at that guy and, and hopefully see some things that he does that you can do within your swing or look at him and say, ah, now it makes sense. Okay, so... For the first part of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this through um, from the very beginning, and let me get it to a point where you're from your stance. Okay, so right here, we'll go ahead and start it. I'll let this roll without me talking or making any changes. Beautiful. Okay, so... Let's first go to the stance. Um, what can we change in the stance? Okay, first thing. Um, we ultimately want to get and, and make the distance that our back leg travels, we want to make that as short of a distance as possible. Um, so um, with that being said, we want to make sure that this back foot, if I'm drawing a line from your, through your back heel through your toes, it points out this way. Okay, we want to make it to where that this thing points that way. Okay, so that's just a simple little adjustment. Um, sometimes, obviously, when you make adjustments, they seem a little awkward at first, but make that adjustment. It's not a real tough one to make, um, and I think you can do that, and it'll, it'll benefit your swing, and you'll have a little bit more efficiency within your swing if you are able to make that change. Okay, so the second part of this, um, I always like to look at knees, knees between the feet. Um, pretty good there. Um, this is getting close, okay, and I think you're going to see this as we go along, why this might cause you some trouble, um, but it's getting pretty close to being over the top of your back foot, your back knee is, okay, and so I'll I'll play this through and, and we'll see how that might um, show itself throughout your swing, but that, that's one thing that I'd, I'd make sure that you're keeping your back knee inside of your back foot. Okay, so there's that. Um, last thing with your stance is, this is tough for me to draw, uh, let me try to do it, but our shoulders, and I know this, this can happen off the tee, but our shoulders are turned in that way. Okay, we want to make sure that within our swing, our shoulders stay as square and in a straight line going towards the pitcher as possible. And I, and I understand and I know that off of the tee, sometimes we get in a bad habit of turning those shoulders in a little bit. But, but let's make sure that when we are doing this, that our shoulders don't turn in too far. Because what happens then is one, one action will create an equal and opposite reaction. So if our shoulders get too far turned in, um, the tendency is then with most hitters is to try and get those shoulders out of there as quickly as possible. Okay, so let's make sure that within within our stance, our shoulders are still square. So go through this a little bit now. I want to watch a few things here. Okay, so I love the kind of bat tilt that you have. Okay, so as you go back, you kind of tilt the bat forward. And I love how you do that. What it does is it helps keep your hands back. I, you probably didn't even know that, but it's something that you do in your swing that looks pretty natural. Now, okay, so now we're starting to see what I, what I told you earlier is we never want our back knee to go outside of our back foot. What it does is it creates a longer path back to the baseball and where we're trying to get to. So if we're looking at it here, um, where our knee has gotten to is right on top, if not over on the outside of our back foot. Okay, so we're creating extra distance in our swing that's really unnecessary. So we have to make sure that we, we pinch the muscles from the inside of our back leg to really keep that back knee inside of our front foot. And, I, and that might be hard for you to understand without me 
showing you. So hopefully with the next video with the big leaguer next to you, we'll see it or I can show it to you in person. So as we go along then, I'll roll it. You stride out and separate. Okay. So not a bad position here. Um, one thing that I'd be conscious of is that foot and knee don't open up too quickly. Um, what that'll do is is it'll it'll clear our hips a little bit early and we'll lose a little bit of power. Okay, um, and I'll show you this with the big leader I'll put you next to, but that's that's bordering on a little bit too far. Okay, we want that at about a 45 degree angle. We're at about a 75 to 80 degree angle, um, so we need to close that up just a little bit. It'll it'll make things a little bit easier to hit on the outside part. Um, so continue to roll through this. You do a really good job of getting connected there. When we talk about connection, the rhythm and connection drill that I gave to you guys a sheet, you want your back elbow and your hands to reach your side at the your back back hip at the same time. You do a tremendous job of that. That's a really rare thing for kids to be able to do your age. And then if we go through your swing, sorry, backtrack here. Pretty good position, pretty good position, pretty good position. Start bringing your barrel through. Beautiful. And one thing that you do is just an absolute tremendous job of is you get through the baseball with your back leg and your backside. I don't see, I try to get our guys to do this, and this is something they struggle with. But if we're to look at your back foot right here, it's off the ground. Okay, and that's what that's the kind of stuff you see with big league swings. There aren't too many guys that possess the ability to do that. So you're maximizing really at the point of contact the way that your back hip and back knee and back foot and everything from your backside is working. So kudos to you for that. So you're doing a tremendous job there. Um and then if we're to cycle back through this, do a really good job of staying through that ball. So so if we're looking at the bat plane and, and we want to imagine that the ball is most likely going to come in on a plane down here. Okay, so we want our bat to basically stay on that plane too. Does it? Yeah, it does a pretty good job. Okay, so that's one thing to look at too. You do a really good job of doing that. So really the things that we need to focus on and work on are, are really involved in the stance. Okay, so if you keep our back knee inside of our foot at stance, and um, we'll do a better job of it as we go back, and our our timing doesn't get as long and drawn out. And that's really what we're working for is trying to be on time every time. So I'm going to put you up next to a dude real fast, a big leaguer, and uh, we'll go from there.